Hey, welcome back Design Squad. It's another Tuesday and another design tool for you guys. And again, as mentioned in previous videos, I'm always gonna recommend only the tools I actually believe in. And it could be anything from books to methods to online apps to extensions, something you can install for icons, everything I would recommend normally to my peers or juniors, anyone who is a designer or visual in any way for UI, UX, product design, service design, you name it, any type of design. And so today we have Sketch App Sources. If you don't know this community site, you know, I'm not gonna say that it's just a website. It's a community driven type of resources for sketch designers. And I know that some of the designers are gonna be a bit iffy about it because again, you're like priding yourselves to craft different bits because you know, it takes time, it takes effort, and I'm not here to downplay it. You know, if you can do it yourself and you can craft icons, interfaces, let's say like this, for example, this parking UI kit, you know, if you have time, you could do it yourself and you can spend time and, you know, if you feel like it, you could share with a Sketch App community, like here, for example. For others, let's say, who are, need just really quick prototype or really quick grab of UI patterns or articles or plugins or icons or everything in between, it's, you know, it's amazing because you can do it quickly. I'm gonna mention exactly how I use it or I suggest people use it because, you know, everything here is available for free. So you can go ahead immediately to sketchappsources.com. It should be bookmarked if you are using Sketch Design anyways. You're gonna see that we have a lot of different bits. I usually just use free because I use only limited complexity to it. Some things you just can't use commercially because it would be infringing on their copyright and so you have to also be aware if you're doing it professionally I would be a bit you know careful of how you use it otherwise we have UI icons wireframes web mobile mockups devices buttons desktop real form logo XYZ there is just a tremendous amount of resource here usually end up here just by googling because I might need something like iOS UI kit I would Google it and then it would bring me here or I would search it going straight to resources and you're gonna see that there is a lot of bespoke type of mockups. But why, what I meant by that was the actual iOS kit like this one, for example, which is graphical user interface kit. And if I would download it, and so as you can see, I got the sketch file and it has everything I would need. Let's say if I would want to mock up some sort of story snapshot of how users, let's say, launch my app or how they would use something native in iOS. And you want to represent that in one of your prototypes or scenarios. Here it is. You don't have to spend hours and hours crafting the simple mockups. You just can copy paste because someone spent time to give back to the community. And if you're a part of that community, you can take it and use it and, you know, feel grateful that someone actually did so. That's just one use case of how I would use these resources. Sometimes I look for inspiration. So sometimes I could, for example, search for something like maps or something along those lines or transport. The other day I was using the global map and I, w I wanted to know exactly how to do charts on a map as well, you know, spike diagrams. So I used this as a resource to get shapes of the actual country so I could make a custom map, could go crazy and be more specific. Let's say maybe you're looking for something to do with transport. And as you can see, it's almost pre-made app for you to use. You would just need to rebrand, be cautious how you use it. So it's not just a, like a blind type of uh, take on it. Also worth mentioning that as you can see, their source is from Dribble. It's made by Yugur Yabar. I'm probably butchering your name by the way, sorry if you're watching this, but basically people who are using it to do custom cases, concepts, they are want to practice to learn and they do it for Dribble, let's say to showcase their craft and their UI skills. They also can just give it out here if they want to back to a community, because if it's not tied to any engagement of a client, it's not professional or paid, you know, why not? You could just give it out and get known, get actual contribute to the design or sketch design community as a whole. And so I really recommend sketch app sources because there is just so many different bits here. There are over 4,000 different resources. And, you know, if you want something like devices or dashboards or charts or something which just takes a lot of time to craft and you're just starting out and you need to prototype it, well, 
it's a no-brainer i would really recommend you to contribute as well if you can um if you're you know if you're half time if you can practice and submit something for others to use if it's high quality i'm sure they're gonna admit and be happy that you contributed and so i hope it's useful as usual give a like share with your friend who is a designer who wants to be a designer uh, in ux or product design leave a comment down below if you want me to cover something else and as per usual i'll see you next time Thank you.